Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. Today's recipe is simple. How to sell an event with a paid ticket using WooCommerce, the WP Event Manager plugin, launch flows, and a few other secret sauce ingredients. Let me show you how it works and then how I set it up. Here I've got the WP Event Manager plugin on a demo site. I'm using WooCommerce and a standard WooCommerce product to sell the tickets. Using the power of launch flows, I'm able to create a custom product that has everything I need on the product page itself. Here I'm allowing people to purchase any number of tickets. Let's say we have two people, Susie and Bob, who want to buy tickets. When they click order now, it immediately sends them to a custom checkout. Here I'm using the free Cadence theme and Cadence blocks to make the checkout experience better with launch flows in a multi-tab way. Let's go ahead and put in the email. I'm gonna use the test email service mailinator so I can show you the follow-up automation emails as well. Let's put Susie's name and we're gonna register both Susie and her husband, Bob. I put in a different email for Susie and Bob so they both can get a different attendee ticket in case they're not gonna be there at the same time. Now we can complete the order. In this case, I'm gonna save the payment information using the power of launch flows and the Stripe payment gateway. When I place the order, three things will happen. First, the person who purchased will be registered and logged in, if that's what you wish, and taken to a custom thank you page. This is the power of launch flows working with the WP Event Manager as part of the stack. We've got the thank you component here that shows that they purchased two tickets but we've also included a convenient link since they're already logged in to go download the tickets and see the order itself. There's also a follow-up email that I've set up using the power of Fluent CRM. When we open a mail editor, we can see a few emails came through. First of all, we've got the event registration that comes from the WP Event Manager itself that includes the ticket and the other information. But we've also given them three other emails. First of all, we've got the order complete. This is the receipt from WooCommerce. And you can also use the invoice power of the free PDF invoice plugin if you wish. We've also given them the account information. If they wish to log in in the future, this gives the information where to go to reset their password. And finally, we've got the automated email sent by Fluent CRM that I'll show you how I set up to remind them where to go to get the actual download if they didn't do it at the time of purchase. Here I created a product called Main Ticket. Launch Flows allows me to use the short code of the WP Event Manager to display that in the same space as the normal product. This is very convenient because the person doesn't have to go multiple places to register. I was able right here under the event ticket choice for product data to set the price, what type of ticket it is, the minimum and maximum, the dates, and so forth. I can always go further and elaborate on this by going to the event itself, but it's good enough inside of the product. Then I use launch flows to say, when somebody puts this in the cart, take them directly to the checkout page, and when they're done, take them to the custom thank you page. In the WP Fusion tab, I've used the power of the Fluent CRM to set a tag called purchased event. That's what I'm gonna use to trigger the automation that's sent after the purchase is complete and the person has been registered. Let's take a look at that. And we can see the following. First of all, she has the tag of purchase the event that came from buying that particular event product. We can also see that the email was sent out that I just showed you. We have her purchase history where she's purchased that item for $200 and we can also view those order details. But more importantly, I've used it to set up an automation. Inside of this automation, we triggered it when she was registered. And we went ahead and then followed up from the registration by sending out the custom email that you see here, including the merge tags for her first name. This is Spence. I'll see you on the next video.